Bonjour, good morning. I don't know what day it is, it's day something. Um, it is a rainy day in Paris. <laughs> the opening ceremony last night. It was quite wet. Um, we actually ended up leaving after we saw the parade of athletes because where we were sitting, everybody had umbrellas up and it was covering the screen so you weren't gonna get to see much more anyways. And then we ended up finishing watching it on our TV at the hotel. So it was actually a really nice evening. The parade of athletes was amazing. It was so cool to see that live. So definitely worth going, very happy we did. Also glad where we were sitting. It was a great view. Um, maybe I'll insert a photo right here. Um, but anyways, now we are off to the Belgium Hospitality House this morning. And then after that, I think we're gonna try to hit up the Olympic Mega Store and then see some of the road cycling time trials. And then tonight we have a wine and food tour around Montmartre. So I'm very excited for today. But we had a really relaxed morning, nothing quick. We didn't have to get up and rush and get out of bed, which was nice. And we got to have, um, we got to have breakfast at the hotel, which was really great. So it was very relaxed. We needed it after the last few days because we've just been traveling so much. But now we finally get to walk around Paris and see it. So let's go. Okay, so that clip you just saw, maybe you recognize somebody in it. We are just walking down the street going to the Arc de Triomphe after we left the Belgium house and we see this crowd of people and there is security and I'm like, we should stop and see who this is. So we stood there for a few minutes and there's Celine Dion signing autographs, taking photos. It was amazing. So we got that, got to see that for a few minutes. So cool. And now we're headed back towards the Arc. Um, just, I'm a little starstruck, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna turn the camera around now and show you the Arc. There she is, hidden behind trees. We'll get a little closer. There's probably raindrops on my lens because I don't have anything to wipe it off with at the moment. But we are on top of the Arc de Triomphe and the soccer cooler is in the background, right? Where is it? Find it. There. Anyways, it's beautiful. The Eiffel Tower is on the other side. I will insert some video of that 
And this is so cool. It's with 16 year old person to come to the top and you get this incredible view of Paris. Oh should absolutely come up. It is phenomenal and absolutely worth it. So when we're done here, we're going to go try to get some more photos of the outside of the Arc because we haven't seen this side yet with the Olympic rings. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to head to the Olympics Megastore. <laughs> As we made our way down the Champs-Élysées, we stopped for onion soup and a glass of wine. I liked how the bread wasn't served soggy in the soup and you could add it as you ate. After that, we continued toward the Olympic Megastore, but the line was pretty long, so we decided not to wait since it was getting late in the day. We also made the decision to skip cycling since we would be standing in the rain. Instead, we walked around the area a little bit before jumping on the metro to Montmartre for our food tour. The tour we booked was with Secret Food Tours, and I'll drop a link in the description box below. We walked around Montmartre, stopping at different shops to pick up food for us to eat at the end of the tour. We learned about how important food is to the French and what a charcuterie board actually is, which is a tray of meats. Once you add cheese to it, it becomes a mixed board and is no longer charcuterie. Our tour guide picked up cheeses, meats, and bread for us to eat later, but during the tour, we also got to snack on macarons, chocolate, and crepes. Can I do the five pepper and the almond crunch? After we picked everything up, we went to a private dining room to eat. We got to learn more about each of the foods we were eating and chat with the other people in our group. It was a great way to spend the evening while learning about Montmartre and the food. When the tour was over, we popped by the Moulin Rouge for a few photos and then headed back to our hotel. We are back from the food tour. Uh, the food and wine tour was amazing. I highly recommend it. We did secret food tours. It was in Montmartre and it was awesome. The first like hour and a half, you go around to different places like a boulangerie, a fromagerie. Is that, is that a word? Fromagerie? Fromag whatever. Um... We did like went to a meat shop, we got crepes, we got macarons and chocolate. And then after that, we took all the food back to this like room and we sat down and our tour guide explained everything. We had six different cheeses, I think, like five different meats. We had bread, we had wine, we had different pairings. It was so cool. I will drop a link below for the tour that we did. It was awesome. There's no affiliation. I just recommend it because we had such a good time. Um, anyways, then afterwards we just like stopped by the Moulin Rouge and I'll put in a little video here for you guys so you can see uh, what we saw. We didn't go in, we just took pictures and videos outside the building and saw the windmill. It has been fully restored, which is so cool because I was really worried that it wasn't going to be, which first world problems, it's, you know, it shouldn't be a worry for me, but I really wanted to see it in its full glory and it was back, so that was awesome. And then we came back to our hotel, we've showered, we are ready for bed. And we are going to go to bed soon because tomorrow morning we have a date with Simone and I'm so excited. So stick around. We are going to have a great time though tomorrow and I'm very excited to like just experience it. And then afterwards we will hit up the Louvre and some of the hospitality houses. So don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks for watching.